So basically, you just have to install uh, Telegram. Okay, I, I installed already here. Okay, let's open it. Okay, in order to connect to your MacBook or to your laptop, I can just look into QR code. Okay, so this is my telegram. Okay, so this is the channel, right? The channel uh, does not allow any conversations. So basically, uh, all your class lecture or notes, you can put it here. It is worth to mention that if let's say you have channel and from the channel, you can create the group chat, which I have created now. So uh, previously I have Two channels and two group chat but the thing is if you let's say you uh, upload something or the picture or the file in your channel and then it will come out in your group chat so it will create redundancy for the uh, for me and also to the students because they will have the interaction uh, in the group chat right so of course you will we will we should be able to promote uh, interaction with the students uh, instead of having the channel so i've decided to delete the channel and and this is how you want to delete the channel okay actually i thought that i have to create the channel before i can create the group and then uh, eventually it turns out that i can just create the group straight away so i just have to delete the channel that i've created previously so how to do that yeah okay here And then I click edit and, and just I click delete channel so channel is deleted okay once you have created the group chat uh, you can invite the students by clicking on the link so this is the link you can also go to the setting of the group chat to give permission to your student to add members by clicking here so at this moment I have to unclick it because um, most of them all of the students are in the group already chat you can decide whether you want to make it into the public group or a, a private group okay uh, group type if let's say you want to go for public group so you have to make sure that your username is unique ECH3120 okay so this is the okay if let's say uh, you create you create the public group so the everyone can find the group in the searches here so if you if they search your ECH3120 it will come up in the in the, in the in the searches if but if you decide to make it private so you can this is the link right so this is the link let's say you want to share to the student all right learning through telegram i can uh, presume to divide it into three important features the first thing first is to use whatever uh embed that they have here the same like uh, forced up for example, right, uh, you can have this uh, PDF. I just take any random file. Okay, so I make one, another caption. For example, uh, in description. Okay, so I can just upload. I can just send to the group chat. Okay, and then I can uh, give instruction whether it can be through the voice your instruction here if you if you don't prefer using the voice okay next one is you can have the picture and then of course the same you can give your instructions we know right if let's say you put 
or you upload your PDF or PowerPoint file, maybe it's going to be uh, the memory is going to be quite big for the students to even uh, download it. So one of the thing that we can do is so maybe you can have it. You can have the full screen of your slide in the in the format of the picture. So you can just capture. All right. Once you have captured it, upload to the group chat. Okay. After you have uh, uploaded the picture, and then you can have the session by recording your voice uh, through this uh, record uh, through the audio. Okay. Today. Okay. Good morning, everyone. So. Hopefully you are doing just fine. So today we will learn about the Clipperon equation. So I bet that you still remember what have you learned uh, for the last week's class, right? Okay, good morning everyone. So hopefully you are doing just fine. So today we will learn about the Clipperon equation. So, so that's how you conduct the session. Because if let's say you want to type it, maybe it's going to be uh, long and maybe they don't really focus on it uh, but you can opt for that option you can go for that option so it, it's it depends on you it depends on your preference another interesting feature that telegram have is by having poll okay so for example at is sent so another option you can also have the quiz mode right? because this is not quiz so I can just send it so after this you can see the students are voting uh, through the poll okay so that is one thing and another thing that uh, I found interesting about telegram is by having uh, the explain everything Okay, actually you can use whatever whiteboard that you, you you can think of but at this moment I can find extend everything to be quite um, convenient in this font next to the next to the screen how i want to access the explain everything and then they can interact through uh, this one through the whiteboard all right okay another uh, interesting feature is that by having quizzed so the quiz board i have created already yesterday so uh, actually it's quite easy because you just have to follow whatever instruction that they have okay for example you can just start start okay then set new twist twist one okay if let's say you want to have the description then you are allowed to have it if not you can just skip it and you can also uh, put the picture Right. For example, you want to put a picture of anything before you start. Okay, then you can start with the first questions. Okay. Okay, so I have to choose the right answer. Okay, this is the first question and then you have to create another question until for example you have come up with 10 questions. Okay, for example, I have one I have 10 questions already and then I can click stunt. So I can set the time. For example, I want to give them like five minutes. Okay, I can shuffle the question and the answer and then I can click here share 
share the quiz but uh, for if let's say you want to share the quiz link you have to go through the phone so from this quiz uh, i can know the who got the answer who got the, the best answer and you can have their marks already in terms of the time too okay as i ex explore uh, telegram for learning purposes i believe that this is really suitable especially during the peak hours whereby everyone is using the smartphones and the computer and the data services uh, because it only uses uh, low, low bandwidth uh, which is i believe is the best strategy especially to cater and to address uh, everywhere in throughout the country uh, with poor uh, network connectivity okay so i wish you all the best uh, especially to all the tutors teachers and lecturers so give me the feedback on the comment down below and maybe we can share an exchange ideas until we meet again next time all right thank you